podcast, I'm going to show you how you can create more than two sprites, you can create lots of them, that all do what you want them to do. There's two methods to do it. One is to just duplicate the sprite once you're satisfied with the commands that you have. So that's very simple to do. I go over to sprite one, duplicate, 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 duplicate. Now I've got six sprites that will all do the same thing. Now watch what happens when I click the green flag. Now they should all spread out from each other. Sometimes they get a little bit hung up and they stick to each other a little bit. And a solution to that is simply to have them move 20 steps every time they bounce away from each other. Um, just like that. So if you have them move 20 steps, um, that's a solution. Now I'd need to go back and change that for every single one of these sprites. Now that can get very tedious, particularly if you want to change several things in your script to have to do that for every single one of these sprites. So I'm going to show you another solution that will avoid that. Now you can see now, because I have them move a little bit further away when they bounce, they don't hang up on each other. But now I've got six sprites moving in random speeds and random directions. Now I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. It's a lot simpler. I'm going to delete all of these guys. And I'm going to use a feature called a clone. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to Control. And you see there's a command called Create Clone Of. And I'm going to create 10 clones. So I'm going to repeat 10 times Create Clone Of Sprite 1. And I'm going to put that right here before this forever loop. So they'll get the first sprite going, and then it's going to clone. Okay. Uh, what that will do is create 10 exact copies of the first sprite. And now I need to tell those, each one of those clones what to do. So we now are going to create a second script that says when I start as a clone, and I want to copy just this loop right here, this forever loop. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to drag that here. I also want to make sure that I have the speed the speed part um, cloned as well. So I'm going to get this section, duplicate this section, stick that in here, and snap this all back together. And now you can see what I'm asking it to do is to do the same thing to the clone as I did to the original. Now, when I click the flag, they all start together. And they all go in random speeds and directions. So that's a simpler way to create multiple sprites. And what's nice about the clone method is that if you want to make one change, it's really easy to do it, and you don't have to go back and do that to multiple ones. And each time, I should get a different result. So now you know how to create uh, many duplicates of one sprite.